Welcome back to another what I'm eating in a day. It's been a great morning so far. I took the kids to school. Um, we always have such a great time because we jam out, listen to our favorite tunes, and that always puts us in a good mood. Um, I'm back home, I'm hungry, I really want to eat. As you saw, I made some delicious avocado toast and some peanut butter toast. I couldn't really decide what I wanted, if I wanted avocado toast or the peanut butter toast with the bananas. And then I thought to myself, well, you don't have to choose. You can just have both. <laughs> so I did. Um, I went ahead and sprinkled some hemp seeds on top of the avocado toast. And then on the peanut butter toast, I did cinnamon with some ground flax seeds. I'm just having some leftover sumo oranges right there. And I do want to mention the little peanut butter hack that I do for peanut butter because I'm not a a big, I don't eat peanut butter a lot just because of all the calories and fat in there. Um, but what I do to kind of get away with having a lot of peanut butter is I make this what I like to call peanut butter mousse. And I do this by just putting in a bowl, like one teaspoon of peanut butter and then one tablespoon of PB2. Sometimes I put two tablespoons of PB2 depending on how much of this mousse I want. And then I just throw some water in there and mix it up until it's the consistency that I want. And then I slather that on top of whatever it is I'm eating. Or if I wanna make it like a sauce, I'll put extra water in there and I'll pour it all over my oatmeal. But this is such a great hack. I think to still get that yummy peanut butter flavor um, without all the extra fat and calories and adding that little bit of actual peanut butter to it just really takes the flavors up to where it tastes like real peanut butter. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and eat because I'm starving. And then my husband and I, today is our ninth anniversary, whoop, whoop, and we're gonna go on a little hike. Maybe I'll pop on and um, he can say hi to y'all. So that's what we have planned. And then when I come back, I'm sure I'll be, uh, what was that, blee? Um, I'm sure I'll be eating some lunch. All right, cheers. It does. <laughs> we thought it would be fun to come hiking and have a picnic, but we're both pretty full from breakfast. Um, I'm gonna put you on the spot. What did you have for breakfast? <laughs> I had a smoothie bowl with granola and bananas and strawberries and hemp seeds. Where, and did, where'd you have this from? Peanut butter from our favorite place, Juice Land. All right. Here in good old Austin, Texas. We are back and um, for lunch I am gonna make me some spring rolls I've been really really into spring rolls lately um, so I'm excited to show you how I make them I don't have all the ingredients like you typically see in a spring roll like those little those little wet noodle things but instead I'm gonna put rice um, I know that's not a thing that people typically put in there but I don't know I have leftover and it sounds really good so that's what I'm gonna have what are you eating? Um, I just am cooking real quick some shredded carrots and kale and spinach just to make it a little soft. And then I'm gonna put it on some toast with some uh, lentil marinara. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah. I love this on toast because it tastes like pizza. <laughs> it does, it's good. That looks pretty good. Just a tiny little bit of salt. Hmm. And a little bit of pepper. Look at you. Come on. Look at you, you plant-based guy. Chef, <laughs> Chef JC. <laughs>
Um, I love these vitamins. <clears throat> Just to kind of tell y'all really quick because I get asked all the time. These are called Complement and they have like everything that you might possibly need a vegan um, in there. So it has B12, it has iodine, it has um, K2, which is great, zinc, which I love that zinc is in there. Um, and then it has omegas in there. And I, that's what I love about this is we don't have to go overboard on all of our vitamins because obviously when you eat a whole foods plant-based diet, you are eating a lot of vitamins and nutrients, but there are some that we still do need to supplement with. Obviously, we all need to take B12. So this is just so great because you don't have to have multiple bottles of vitamins everywhere, which is kind of what it was like here a little while ago. You ready to go to the garden? Come on. So these trees are amazing. They get so big so quick. I think they're called Arizona Blue Spruce. Maybe? Oh no, Cypress. Arizona Blue Cypress. Um, they definitely need to be trimmed though. <laughs> uh, usually I can walk through really easily here, but uh, right now it's a bit of a jungle. So we're just gonna duck and walk through. But da -da -da -da, and here is my veggie garden that looks a bit disastrous. Um, let me fix these. The wind is just crazy right now. Uh, first off, here's my, my uh, cucumbers. I'm super excited about these. Now I had good success growing these last year. This is like one of my favorite plants to grow. We already got some flowers on there. Come on cucumbers. I get so amazed at how these plants know just to like attach like this and then they just crawl up this thing. Now this is how you know I don't know what I'm doing. I put the tomatoes, the cherry tomatoes in the peppers in the same flower bed together and it's getting really crowded but I think it's a little too late. We're gonna have to make do. Here are my peppers. I have banana peppers and green and yellow and purple and red peppers. These are my onions, which look to be getting wind blown as well. Um, I'm really excited about these onions. Look at them growing up above the dirt. How cool is that? And then over here I have kale and lettuce. I did have cauliflower, but we had to pull that up. We ate it, delicious, and it's gone. So we have butter lettuce, bib lettuce, and then our spinach. I think we're just about done with the lettuce. Uh, the kale, I'm gonna see how long I could go with it. And then over here, we have my potatoes. Now, I had no idea potatoes sprouted. I like to call these trees. Um, I had no idea they did this, but apparently you guys over on Instagram have told me, cause because I looked at this and I was like, um, but what in the world is this stuff? And y'all told me that this will die or it'll flower, it'll die and wilt and fall over. And then that's how I know it's time to harvest my potatoes. So I'm really, really excited about this. I know you guys were also asking me where I got these flower beds. These are from Greenest Fence Company. You can just go to their website and order them. I believe we got ours on Amazon though. Um, this is actually the flower bed. These right here, they do sell as well, but when we ordered the flower beds last year during the whole, like when the pandemic had just started and you couldn't find, like everyone was gardening, um, we could, they were back ordered on these. And so my husband was like, well, I'm just gonna make them. So he actually made these. He just went and got the wood from Home Depot and the chicken wire and just literally like, <laughs> Put, put them together and then just stapled the chicken wire on the, on the back. So it's time for me to go get one of the kids. My husband's gonna go ahead and get my daughter. I'm gonna go get my son from school and he has um, lacrosse practice. So I'm just taking him a snack. He's always starving after school. I'm just bringing him a nice size handful of pistachios, a little vegan chocolate chip muffin that we get at Whole Foods and then an apple. And this should really fill him up. 
give him some energy and uh, keep him held over till dinner. So tonight, for our anniversary, I want to do a pizza night, and I was out of the Engine 2 pizza crust because I do use those. I love those. I order those on the Plant Strong website. Um, so I went to Whole Foods and got these two options. Um, this is Whole Foods brand. This is their thin crust whole wheat. Uh, pizza crust and there is a little bit of oil in here um, so on the occasion you know sometimes I'll eat one like rare occasion but I also did find these like flatbreads they you know show that it's for a burrito but you can also do pizza look at that pizza and uh, there's no oil in the ingredients I'm gonna go ahead and skip tonight and have this one and I am very excited about it. So um, I thought I was recording and I wasn't, but <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all how I am making my pizza since this is, you know, what I eat in a day. Um, I'm just going ahead, I'm using the flatbread and then I used this, how do you say this? Rouse homemade, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Um, this is pizza sauce with no oil in it. I found this at Whole Foods. I'm not sure if you can get this where uh, you live, but I will try to find it online and link it in the description for you. And then I went ahead and I took just a BPA-free lining can of garbanzo beans, no salt added, and I strained and rinsed them. kind of crispy and delicious. So what I like to do, let me zoom in, when I take it out is put tahini on top. Now I am in love with this like squirtable tahini right here. Now you gotta watch out, obviously you can go overboard with this, but I feel like you just have more control with how much tahini, at least I do with how much tahini I'm using. So um, I like to just squeeze this on top and this comes out so good, something about the combination of the tahini and the pizza sauce, I don't even know. And this might be one tablespoon. I'm telling y'all, change, changes the pizza game here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is it for me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so I know to do more what I eat in a day videos for you guys. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I'd love to see you stick around. I release a video every Monday, unless like, you know, I need a little bit of a break, but usually it's every Monday. And also, if you wanna see the pizzas that my husband and my kids end up making, um, keep watching after I end this video. So I hope y'all have a blessed week and I will be talking to you soon, bye.